Hello, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, welcome to whatever this is. So if you're anything like me, you get into these random kicks or like obsessions with things. Like, for example, today, I got into a makeup kick for a moment. Like, I did a full face of makeup even though I'm not going anywhere, I don't have any sort of plans. Or I'll get into like a cleaning kick where I'm like, I have to clean my whole house right fucking now. You know what I mean? Like, you just suddenly get, like... Fi a fire lit under your ass and you're like, I have to go do this thing right now. Well, for me, another one of those kicks is real estate for some reason. I love looking at real estate even though I know I can't afford it. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's because I like to punish myself or what it is, but I absolutely love looking at houses. I love looking at apartments. I love, I mean, I love interior design in general, so the whole idea of it is really fun to me. And, um, since I did this full thing, you know, full face of makeup, like, even my lipstick, it doesn't look very good. I never do lipstick. Um, but I was like, well, I already did this, <laughs> so might as well film a video or two. So here we are, and I've been wanting to do this anyway. Um, I've been wanting to look at really expensive real estate just because I like real estate <laughs> and I like interior design. So literally what I did was I just... I googled most expensive areas to live in the US. New York, of course, was first, like obviously. Um, and I'm starting the price at 900k and then no, no maximum. So it's pretty concerning to me the amount of red dots here that are, that are still here even though the minimum price is 900k. Like how can any, literally how can anyone afford to live in New York? But anyway, I like causing myself misery by looking at really expensive stuff I could never afford so I figured I'd bring some along because misery loves company <laughs> honestly if you found this video I really don't know how you did but I hope you enjoy it it's really a random video I don't really know why it's other than I just I have fun doing it <laughs> so we're just gonna start um, I have like all home types right now I'm gonna get rid of land lots slash land because I don't want to look at an empty lot Manufactured houses, townhomes. Okay, so right off the bat, the first one is ninety million dollars. I and it's a condo. Like I literally can't. Oh, it's eight thousand square feet. I guess that kind of makes sense. But I, I don't. How? Why? Full floor penthouse. Okay, okay, that makes a little more sense. But like, look at this. To me, oh my god, look at that bathtub. Like, the bathroom is probably the one that is like the most important room in a house. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's like when I see a bathtub, I'm instantly like, oh my god, they're living in the lap of luxury. That's when you know you've made it. Look at this fucking bath. I mean, they've got right by the Look at that view, man. Like, I hate, bi I hate big cities. I would never, ever live in New York City. Can't stand it. I was I grew up in a small town. I could never handle a big city. But I mean the view is really amazing. And look at this, like the bathtub, like that's fucking incredible. It's beautiful. I love like the kind of minimalistic industrial type. I kind of have a whole bunch of different styles that I like, but I do really like this one. And I mean it is gorgeous. This looks like like a like the set of fifty shades of gray, doesn't it? <laughs> like Mr. Gray will see you now. <laughs> Like, yeah, look at the marble. Like, that is gorgeous. I couldn't, I couldn't even, like, how many, only six bedrooms? Like, you could only have, well, if you had, like, if there's six bedrooms, you could have six couples, and then, you know, you could have 12 people bringing in money. But even so, $422,000 a month? Who in the world could afford to live here? Like, look at this. Occupying over 8,000, look at this guy. <laughs> You're never gonna sell that place. <laughs> Save 725 people saved it as if you could buy that, right? How many rich people live in a lot of rich people gotta live in New York? 79 million. Oh my god. Oh, this is like this is like a historical thing. Look at this. <gasps> Look at that kitchen. Look at that kitchen. I mean, you when you have a giant when you have a big flat screen in your kitchen, you know you're doing well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at this. Oh. oh my god, look at that! That reminds me of Tangled. That's so gorgeous. Oh my god, I love this. This is so pretty. I love the sun, the sun up there like that. This is so pretty. This is like, this reminds me of like a presidential type thing. Like a, 
like a suite or something. Look at this. Like, you know you're in a bougie-ass place when this is the foyer. Look at this. <laughs> this looks like, like, the Heathmouth or something. It looks like a fancy hotel. But you see, at the same time- Oh my god. <gasps> An indoor pool. Look at this fucking pool. Oh my god. There better be a spa in here for this price. There better be a spa in here somewhere. That is amazing. Oh my god. At the same time, though, like, as gorgeous as this is, I can't imagine actually living in it. Like, I love cozy, I love cozy little, like, small houses. Like, my house that I'm living in right now is, like, I think it's less than a thousand square feet, and I absolutely love it. Like, I just want a nicely built house with nice things in it, you know? I couldn't imagine living in a huge mansion like this, but let me see. These are, like, a lot of townhouses. Well, obviously, New York is packed people like sardines right on top of each other which is another reason I could never live in a big city I hate crowded areas I hate having I hate living in apartments with neighbors and stuff oh my god this looks like the devil wears Prada isn't it <gasps> oh good god look at this fireplace how who who the hell's paid for this shit <gasps> Oh my god, <laughs> what job would you have to have to be able to work here? You'd have to be like, you'd have to be like a multi-millionaire to live in one of these, right? <gasps> oh my god. I love this. That is stunning. Are those, oh my god, those are, those are like waterfall, like fountains. <gasps> that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I gotta be honest, I don't know if this is a spa. Is this a spa? I think it's a spa. Because this looks- these look like relaxation towels. Can you imagine, like, getting a masseuse to come to your house? Oh my god. Man, rich people really- <gasps> They- What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. This is a- Oh my god. You could have, like, ten people in this shower. Not judging. If you want ten people in your shower, I am not judging. I, you do you, boo. But look at this. Oh my god. Look at the blue. Oh my god. The floor plan. <laughs> oh, it's a swim. Oh, is it a swimming pool? I thought it was a. Man, this is a townhouse. That is insane. Fitness room, steam room, massage room. Oh my god. Bar. <laughs> elevator? It has an elevator? <laughs> Rich people, really. Oh, and it has a gym, of course. Look at this. I love the mixture. Oh, Fiji. Oh, gotta get that sponsor in there, baby. Look at that Fiji. I, like, I love the mixture of green and, like, modern or, like, minimalistic, like, industrial. I love mixing in the green with metal and stuff. This is why I want to be an interior designer, because I would have so much fun with it. <gasps> look at the Terrence. Oh, look at the Terrence. Oh, that's so pretty. Why did I say Terrence? I don't know. I'm just, like, I'm so flabbergasted. Like, my brain and my mind is blown. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, four million. Oh, now we're getting into the cheaper range. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Look at that fucking pool. Oh my god, the hot tub. Although it's in New York, so, like, you're not gonna be able to use that for, like, half the year. Oh my- oh, look at the pretty pink! Oh my god, this is stunning. I love this. Look at the- that's a fireplace? <sighs> I love it so much! Oh my god, the pink light? This is stunning. <gasps> this is perfect. Look at the metal stone. This is all stone, the blue. I, this is a perfect shade of blue, too. Look at that, it's like cerulean blue. <laughs> oh. oh, look at this fucking- even that couch, that sofa, love seat, whatever you want to call it, is- looks rich. That couch probably is worth more than me. Like, look at that. It, it looks like two eyes, and they're like, have super long fake lashes on, and they're just like, Mmm, honey, you don't belong here. <laughs> What's your net worth? Like, ten dollars? You don't belong here. Yeah, this is too expensive for you. That's what I feel like this love seat is telling me. <laughs> and it's not wrong. <gasps> oh, look at this toilet. Oh, the shower. Is that the- Oh, that's the bathtub. <gasps> oh, my- It has- 
a urinal? I don't know why that's so crazy to me. <laughs> but look at this toilet! It looks like a toilet that like Japan would have in a public bathroom. That is amazing. What is this? What is that? Is that just artwork? I wouldn't be surprised if that was like a TV or something. But that looks just like artwork. Look at look at this fucking sofa. Or whatever. Like that looks like it's worth more than me. <laughs> that is a stunning bathroom. That is how you make a statement with a bathroom. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh look. They got their iPad right there. Now they're really flexing on me. <laughs> oh I was wrong. Sorry. The TV's up here. <laughs> look at that. Oh my god. I love this. This fucking door. The door. Why would you put that container right there? I don't know. I mean it's pretty. Oh, this is so strange seeing this expensive ass house with signs that it's lived in. You know what I mean? Like, it's so expensive, it's hard to imagine anyone living there. But you've got someone's iPad here on that's charging, which would imply that there's someone still living in it while these pictures are being taken. And it's so crazy to me to think of people actually living in a house like this. Like, can you imagine what your life would be like if you could afford to live in a house like this? I... I couldn't even begin to imagine it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at this setup. <laughs> Look at the ceiling. Even the ceiling fan is impressive. Oh yes. Is this a loft area? Yes. Is that a TV? Or is that a mirror? What is that? Either way, it's huge. Oh, look at the little puffs. Oh, it's so gorgeous. The gold. Custom-built contemporary mansion with resort-style living. No fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's resort-style. Oh, look at this. Now we're really in- we're in the cheap- uh, we're in the cheap range now. 2.8 million, that's all. Is that all? Only 12 grand a month? Oh, perfect. <laughs> Oh, look at the white marble. Oh my god. And this? Oh, bitch. Yes. Yes. Some people would say that's way too much white, and I would have to kind of agree. Except for I can imagine, like, having that much white would give you so much freedom to bring crazy colors into your decor. You know, like, uh, with pillows, uh, I mean, even with couches, you could have a bunch of green plants, red plants. I mean, artwork, you could have some crazy fucking artwork. White, having all that white is a really nice way to have a blank slate. So I appreciate just white. You know, plain white. I mean, look at <laughs> This is like an off-white or pure white. I don't know what it is. But it like leaves me a lot of, um, it's a lot of opening for crazy colors and stuff. So I appreciate that. Look at that gorgeous chandelier. This is perfect, by the way. All this natural lighting, that's exactly what I want. I would put a giant bed in this and make this my bedroom. That would 100% be my bedroom. I love all the natural lighting, all the white makes it out, and the light flooring. I hate carpeting, so I love the wood floor. Like, this is perfect. This would be just a stunning bedroom. Oh my god, I can picture it. God, I want to be an interior designer. And I mean, I love the vaulted ceilings. I love skylights. This is gorgeous. This is probably my favorite one so far. And it's actually, I think it's the cheapest one we've looked at so far, but this is my favorite. I mean, I don't see how I'd ever need a house that big that's 6,000, over 6,500 square feet. Can't imagine what I'd ever need that much space for. Oh, 63.2 million. Oh my god. Is this in this skyscraper? Luxury living in this grand full floor, full floor residence at Central Park Tower. Okay, that explains why it's so expensive. You get an entire floor. Oh my god, look at this bitch. What do you do? Ew, ugly dog. Ew. What do you do to- how can you afford this? Oh. My. God. How do you afford- literally. Oh, <gasps> Is this a pool? This is a pool. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> that is stunning. Wouldn't- would never want to actually live in that. Again, right in the center, up in a big skyscraper, no thank you. Ooh, it is it weird? It seems weird to me that these, like, penthouses are more expensive than full houses. Maybe I just don't know how, how New York and big cities work, but that seems crazy to me that you can get a full house for a fraction of what you could pay for a penthouse. Towering over downtown, downtown Manhattan, this penthouse in the sky is perched atop the iconic... Oh, is it the top? Oh my god, is it all the way at the top? That's a penthouse, dumbass. Yeah, of course it's all the way at the top, stupid bitch. Sorry, <laughs> that kind of explains why. Oh my god, like, 
I feel bad for anyone that has fear of heights. It's not me, but I mean, the view is spectacular. It's just that all I could think about was how traffic, the, how bad the traffic is, and the pollution, and how noisy. Oh, but look at this. Oh, that's stunning. I mean, the view. You really can't beat the view, can you? Look at that. That is gorgeous. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Can you imagine waking up every morning and just having the sunrise right there? I would be a morning person. This would make me a morning person if I had this. Just to look over and look at the sun coming up. But again, you'd have to deal with winter and I fucking hate winter so much. Okay, New York is like a whole other level. 10.5 million. 8.8 .8 million. I mean, this is insane. I can't- Oh, dog! Yes. I'll take it. It has a dog in the picture. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? San Francisco. Really not LA? Go away. I need to search. God. Francisco, California. We are keeping the 900k starting price. And that is a lot of property available. <laughs> oh, that- wait. That's where San Francisco is? Weird. Oh, I went to San Diego. That's right. I was like, wait, we weren't on an island thing. That's why. It's two different places. <laughs> Tells you how much I know about California. Can't imagine I would ever live there either. It's real gone. It's really going downhill. LA especially. LA YouTubers, you better get moving out because it's all going downhill. But besides that, 22 million. Ooh, I like this. This looks like it's kind of away from the big city. Panoramic views atop Mount Sutro. Sutro? Sutro? Iconic position, highest private residence above sea level. Oh yeah, that's nice. See, that's what I would want. I would want to be. Actually, never mind. That made me sound like an asshole. I want to be above everyone else. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Just like up out of the way and not dealing with like the huge crowded areas. Although I guess I don't know how crowded San Francisco is. I imagine. Oh yeah, no, it's fucking. It's packed on top of each other too. Oh, it's got solar panels. That's nice. And look at this beautiful like little terrace. And that's nice. Look at that. Ugh. 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 No thank you. Again, see, you never would want to live in these places even if I could afford it just because <laughs> I hate big cities. What is this one? This one's interesting. Oh my god, this is so cute. Storybook. Yeah. Storybook. It looks like um, from Once Upon a Time. It looks like a Emma Swan would be living here. Oh my god, look at this cap. This sofa, I love that. I bet that's like crushed velvet or satin or something. See, this is pretty. This is kind of mixing like old with new. I kind of like that. I like the wood. The wood looks nice. Oh my god, can you imagine growing up in a house like this? Oh, I bet the rich kids of TikTok would know. <laughs> Fucking brats. Eh. Honestly, I'm like... I gotta, I'm not really impressed with San Francisco. Let's look somewhere else. Honolulu, Hawaii. Yes, bitch. I have an aunt who lives in Honolulu. And for some reason, never been to visit her. I don't know why. <laughs> that would be an excuse. I think she's a nurse, too. Oh my god. One, goals would be moving to Hawaii, I think. Actually, how bad are there? How bad are the hurricanes down there? I don't know. But can you imagine being able to live in Hawaii? Like, a cost of houses aside, like, the cost, I've heard the ha cost of, um, just like food and stuff and gas is expensive. Because obviously you're on an island, so you have to get it shipped in. But look at this! Oh my god. 18.8888. Fleetwood Custom UV Glass Sliding Doors with Doors and Motion Automation. I have no idea what that means. <gasps> Oh, look at that chandelier. Sandstone wall features. Marine Grand grade stainless steel cabinet and hardware. That is stunning. Look at this. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. I love that. I love this, like, I love ancient aliens, and that's the vibes I'm getting from this. <laughs> I love ancient anything, really. Home theater, of course. Walking closet. Look at that. I, I could, <coughs> I could literally only fill maybe like this part with my clothes. <laughs> There's a full walk-in. I see that bathtub, bitch. Show me the bathtub. <gasps> yes. Yes. Ooh. <gasps> That's so pretty. Look at that. Automated water pumps and lighting. Waterfall? Where? Or water wall? Where? I don't see it. 
Oh my god, yes, there's a jacuzzi. There better be a damn jacuzzi if you're paying 18 million dollars. Almost 19 million dollars for our house. Let me see. Ooh, right on the water. Yes. 17,000 a month. Oh, is that all? <laughs> mm. What do these people do? Like, who was paying for this shit? Like, who... Uh, who can afford to live in these houses? Like, genuinely. What, what job must you be doing to be able to afford to live in these places? Like, you have to be an entrepreneur or something? Oh my god. Look at... Oh. <laughs> I would live in that. I would live in that. I would never leave the pool. Even though the ocean's right there. The ocean kind of makes me nervous. Let me see how... Is the water clear? Oh my god, never mind. That is some gorgeous ass water. Look at that. Look at that. Blue ass water. <laughs> never mind. I could be in that all day too. Oh. oh, can you even imagine? Like, just try and picture yourself for one second where you could afford to live in a house like this. Oh my god, look at this. Even this gate, like, you know what you're in. You kind of know what you're in for. Like, where this would be your neighborhood. How, like, you'd, how different would your life be? How crazy would your life be? Like, you would be having so much fun, I hope. I would be. <laughs> Let me see. What's this? Holy shit. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's, like, almost like a mixture of modern. Yeah, it's basically modern. But with some wood elements, too. That's nice. <gasps> This, look at that view, dude. Like, I would never want to leave home. And, you know, I mean, I don't really want to now either. But <laughs> at least this this way I'd be doing it in style. I'd be a uh, homebody in style. <laughs> look at that. Like, look. Oh, my God. This looks like a library or something. Like a really expensive-ass library. Oh, I love it. This giant deck. Yes. And there's a pool. Show me the pool, bitch. Where's the pool? Oh my god. And there's a- is that a jacuzzi? I bet that better be a jacuzzi. Look at the- oh my god. This is perfect. Like, go swimming around here. Just kind of relax out. Get some sun. Go out to the ocean. Relax here. Oh my god. <laughs> Coastal island retreat. Bitch. Yes. Fuck me up, fam. Just fuck me up, fam. Start living your best life ever, yes, from this gorgeous oceanfront home offering over 8,000 square feet. What would you do with 8,000 square feet? That's my question. Like, I want to live, like, this is, this location, perfect. Exactly where I'd want to live. Like, yes, right here. Oh, yeah, make nice. But what would you do with, with that much space? Over 8,000 of luxury indoor outdoor living. What would you do with all that area? <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. <gasps> I love this lake. You know what this makes me think of? This thing makes me think of Sims 2 Strange Town. You know what I mean? Like the architecture is what it makes me think of. <gasps> <gasps> Bitch! Look at this! Look at this pool! <laughs> look at that waterfall. Oh my god. I, again, I'd live in the I'd live in the pool. I'd never leave. Oh my god, look at the view. <gasps> this is probably my second one. Favorite one so far. Look at this bathroom. Again, when I get a house that has a bathtub, because my house doesn't have a bathtub, but that's when I know I've made it. Like, I've been- I'm somewhat successful. That's when I'll know, for sure. Oh, look at that view, dude. Like, all the natural light. Yes. Y yes. Give it to me. Look at this, oh my, look at this foyer. Look at that! This looks like national treasure level, like, expensive ass buildings. This is fantastic. Oh my god. <gasps> Holy shit. Look at that. Oh my god. That's amazing. This is so incredible. Rich people really, oh, really got, got it going. Okay, what's next? Boston, Massachusetts. I think I've heard this, that Boston, like, Massachusetts has some actually really expensive stuff. So let me see. Again, I love the tropics. I don't like, I don't like anywhere, I'm from Michigan, so I'm used to snow and stuff. I don't like it. I would never, you know what, let's keep it realistic, because I would never, ever live there. Top 10 most expensive cities in the U.S. 10, okay, Oakland, California. It's all, they're all in California. <laughs> 
Oh, Miami. I live in Florida. I want to see Miami. Let's show me Miami. Ooh, yes. <gasps> yes. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. <gasps> Oh, look at that fucking pool. They were smart to lead with the pool. Because that's the... They know people. That's what they're looking for. Oh, my God. Look at that. The fucking wood. The mixture of, like, modern and wood. All the greenery. I love that. See, again, this is way too much white, even for me. <laughs> like, I don't know if they're leaving it a blank slate for, like, people to imagine putting their own stuff in. But this is way too much white. Definitely gotta add more color. Add color here. Probably in the drapes. Furni other furniture. <gasps> look at this opening right here. Just... Wake up, go outside, go swimming. That's living the dream right there. One day I will have a fucking nice ass tub in my house. One day. Look at this shower. <gasps> One day. That's when I'll know I've made it. If I have a YouTube channel still by then, I will make a video and I will probably make a comment. Like, I will throw back to this video and be like, I fucking told you I'd have one. <laughs> One day. Oh my god, look at this. Ugh. Oh. God, I love it. Look at all the greenery. Oh, look at the outside area. <laughs> oh, if only it... I mean, it's in Miami, so not too far away. I mean, it's it's pretty far away from where I live, actually, but it's still in the same state. Look at the foyer, breakfast area, dining room, family room, bedroom. Oh, my God, the pool. Oh, let me see. Only a couple more. This is almost 30 minutes already. I could do this for hours. <laughs> I could do this for four hours. Uh, let me see one that really catches my eye. Uh, ooh, look at this imposing. This is only nine nine nine, only, <laughs> only four thousand seven hundred a month. Like, easy peasy. Let me go. Let me go swoop that up. Oh my god, look at this. Lo oh, that's gorgeous. I love this. I love the skylights. I love. I love skylights so much. Nice closets. The bathroom. <gasps> This is the biggest shower I've ever seen. Holy shit. Where's the bathtub? Um, no. That's a boring ass bathtub. I need a real bathtub? Okay. I'm unimpressed now. Give me a real bathtub. Give me one that makes me go, oh my god. It's worth more than me. What about this one? 17.5 million. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> that's so beautiful. I love, like, the wood accents here. That looks so good. Like, see, that's how you add some color into the whiteness. Oh my, look at that. Oh, oh that is a stunning closet. Clearly a man's closet, too. <laughs> he, this man has more clothes than I do. <laughs> Definitely more shoes. <gasps> yes. Oh my, look at the, look at the sinks. <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> this is making me question my existence. Oh my god, I've never seen sinks like this. This looks... Why do I- why am I getting Titanic vibes from this? I feel like I'm on the Titanic, like, first class. Well, that's really cute, yes! <gasps> I always wanted one of these, too, like, a window seat. Another sign you've made it. Look at this fucking pool. This looks like a hotel. Oh my god, that's gorgeous, too. What is that? Ugh. Rich people, man. Oh, yes! Eat your waterfall! Yes, what is that? Most beautiful gardens. Oh, so the, you've got gardens attached to it. Look at that. <gasps> Shit. Oh my god, look at that pool. <laughs> that is disgusting in a good way. Oh, look at this is a big plot of land, too. That's perfect. Look at that. All that greenery. That's amazing. That's perfect because I like grew up in the woods and stuff. So having all that greenery would be amazing. That'd be. Oh. And the neighbors that wouldn't feel that close either because you've got. All these, all this lush greenery. That's part. That's that's awesome. But again, it's in Miami, and you know, but where I am in Florida, we don't get hurricanes that bad. But Miami, I bet does. <gasps> yes, this is very modern. Look at this. What is this? Oh, is it outdoor eating area? Is that a jacuzzi? Is that a jacuzzi? That's the. If that's a jacuzzi, that's the biggest jacuzzi I've ever seen. Uh, custom built. Um, uh, two master sweets, jacuzzi. That is, that's gotta be the jacuzzi. That's the biggest jacuzzi I've ever seen. Oh my god, yes, like a little courtyard. I've always wanted one of those and get a big tree. I've literally wanted, always wanted a house where like the house, there's a giant tree in the middle and the house just is around it, so it's almost like 
a big tree house, but on the ground, <laughs> if that makes sense. I always wanted like a giant cherry blossom tree, which I know isn't realistic because I don't think cherry blossoms can get that big, but <sighs> oh my god, this is really speaking to me. This is probably my third favorite one. Oh, look at, oh my god, how much square feet? almost 9,000 square feet. What would you do with all that space? Oh my god, they have a tennis court. Look at this! Oh my god, it's a little like sand little play area. You can do calisthenics out there. That's a pretty good amount of a plot of land, too. Oh, yes. I would fill that with books. Money, of course. Pretty much Paris, New York, American fashion. Okay, I gotta stop. I'm <laughs> yeah, we're at 30 minutes right now. I could do this all fucking day, but that would get really dull if it isn't boring already, but... Oh my god. <laughs> Basically, one day I will know I've made it in life if I have a big, a nice bathtub and or a pool outside. That is how I will know that I've made it in life. <laughs> Once I've done that, then I'm like, okay, now now we're getting somewhere, you know, now, now we're getting somewhere. Anyway, <laughs> this was a pretty pointless video, but, I mean, I do this every couple months where I just get in this, like, where I'm like, oh my god, I want to live on my own, I want to live, have my own house, and let me look at these gorgeous houses that I know I can never afford. So, that's what we did. <laughs> and I hope you got some kind of enjoyment out of it, even if I just kind of brought you along for this, to share my misery, because misery loves company, you know, so. <laughs> um... I mean, I hope things are still going- I hope things are going well for you. I know things have been crazy right now, uh, but I don't know. I just got my fingers crossed for all of us that we're going to come out on the other side soon, so I hope you're having a good day slash night, and I'd love to see you on the next one. Bye!